Hi everyone, Tracy from Australia here with my Life A Bloom journal to share with you. The cover of the journal is made from an upcycled book. I've decorated the spine with a piece of white cotton lace and then made a dangle um, which is detachable to go on that. The dangle was made from little pieces of old necklaces and then a few brass charms and a brass key. So you can take that off and the journal will lay flat so that you can write on it. The images front and back are those which are provided in the kit. I've used uh, Inca Gold around the edges. The uh, closure for the journal is some seam binding just through a couple of gold eyelets. Inside cover I've just um, printed off a page from the kit and used that. I might put um, a pocket there. So the photos I've printed onto glossy paper and they're also from Daisy's shop. Um, a set called Vintage Children's Set 8. That piece of paper is actually a gorgeous piece of uh, handmade paper and then I've made a tuck spot with a doily and a rose um, die cut and then uh, one tag is from the kit and the other one I've made with a stamp. A little piece of vintage paper there. Um, I've tried to use papers of different sizes in this journal to provide a bit of interest. That's a little envelope that I've made with a spellbinder's die, a little bit of off um, cut paper, inked it up and folded it to make extra writing space. The little tuck spot itself is um, a Victorian piece of ephemera from Daisy's shop called Set 15. I've made one of the pages in uh, the kit as a pocket and then again another um, studio photo. There's a doily. That belly band is made using a piece of vintage lace and then I've glued one of the ephemera pieces over the top. Some parchment and that I've edged with an edge punch to make a nice little writing space. That pocket itself was made from um, an off-cut piece of paper that I had and then I've used pieces to uh, layer and create the pocket. The cream card is embossed and then the other is a postcard from the Life of Bloom kit. Decorated paper clip, there's a piece of ephemera from the kit and another little piece on the back. As you can see, I've used edge punch on the top of most of the pages um, to give a really lacy effect. That's a pocket that comes in the kit and then two tags. I've chosen to actually glue the pocket down onto the paper, but you can actually just have it as a removable tuck spot. Again, another little pocket. I've um, decoupaged the flower onto that library card and then, the, then put uh, a butterfly on the top of that card to make it a little bit different. Did a little bit of inking up there in the corner. There's another embossed card and some vintage music paper. These um, two corner pockets are actually from a, um, some Kaiser Craft paper that I had. It was a six by six pad and I wanted to use it up so I've used a couple of pieces of um, those um, pages throughout. That's um, a ticket from the collection. That's a little envelope that I've made from um, a piece of paper in my stash. And I've die cut some butterflies and used those to decorate the page. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, make a little tuck spot with a piece of uh, one of the um, die cut roses. There's a little envelope with a little card in it. The ticket was from um, the Life of Bloom kit. Use lots of little envelopes throughout this journal. I like that idea of having a little secret space that you could put something. You can even actually tuck down behind that particular little envelope. I didn't ink the pages, although I did um, decorate around um, the ones that I'd printed from the kit with um, kindy glitz doesn't really show up in the video but it looks really cute um, in person. That's a beautiful page. I've used a large rose from Daisy's 
uh, collection and use that as a tuck spot. The piece of ephemera is from the kit. There, that tuck spot is one of the Kaiser Craft pages and then I've made an envelope with some vintage music paper and another little parchment um, piece as a uh, writing space. That card was made using an off-cut page from my stash. It's actually a, um, a vintage piece of paper and then I've made a little uh, decorated tag. Doily composition book page. Again, one of the um, photos that I've printed onto glossy photo paper and then recreated a postcard. The pages in the kit are so beautiful, really soft, romantic roses. What more could I ask for? I absolutely loved using them. I've had this kit for some time and um, so this was my chance to use it. And I've also wanted to do um, a white book cover for a long time so they married really nicely. Lots of space, line space provided in the kit for writing. Um, there I used one of the tags from the kit as a pocket. I've decorated it with a couple of butterflies and made a postcard. I did put a lot of those uh, Victorian um, fussy cut ephemera pieces on the tops of the composition book pages. I thought they looked great. Again, an embossed card that I've made and then I put uh, plain paper on the back so that you can easily write on it. That page is one of my favourites from the kit with the roses up the top and just a soft pink little tag that I've made using a stamp and then a, a tag from the kit. Because I didn't stamp on the pages I have tried to use my stamps to create some ephemera. That's a tag that I made from a Kaiser Craft um, off cart. The butterflies that you can see throughout are also from a Kaiser Craft um, piece of paper. It's glittery and I just really um, wanted to use those in this this journal because I'd edged the pages from Daisy's kit with the kindy glitz. So there, created a little pocket, put a piece of um, the, Victor the Victorian ephemera on it and then used two tags from the kit. Embossed postcard again. Bit hard to see but I really like using the embossing um, folders to create postcards. Little pocket there using a die cut to decorate and then two pieces of ephemera from the kit. Again a belly band using um, the lace and a Victorian um, piece of ephemera and then an embossed post, a little embossed card. This is the middle of a Okay, I missed a page there. Um, postcard from the kit. The pocket itself is another Kaiser Craft paper. Then the vintage music paper, a bit of um, decoupage. This is the middle of the signature. That's a piece that I've made myself using a stamp. And then behind that doily, one of the pieces from the kit. Lots of nice sayings on the ephemera pieces in the kit. On the little tie strings I've used glittery butterflies. So I used one of those um, pieces to make a little pocket and that is of course um, some tickets that I've made with my own stamp. <clears throat> this is a little booklet that I created out of a glassine bag. I've edged it in Inca Gold and you can actually still pop something into the front and the back of this. I've just popped one of those little Victorian die cuts in there but you could put a photo of your own, anything. And then the pages themselves are baking paper which I've um, sewed on the machine into a little booklet. I have tested it and you can write on the baking paper. So again you could put a little image in there or a little memento and then um, you've got a beautiful little book. That tuck spot is one of my favourite things to do. I use one of uh, Daisy's large roses, fussy cut it, and then use it as uh, a tuck spot. So 
such a pretty photo this one a mother and her daughter and I've backed that onto some cardstock um, stamped on the back and then glued a little uh, glittery butterfly in the corner to match the one that I'd put on the page another pocket using one of the pages and then a card that was the other piece of um, that vintage paper that I had and it actually has the words love in a really soft um, pinky apricot so it went really well with this kit I love to use pieces from my stash especially if they're um, upcycled that's a little card that comes in the vintage um, ephemera set 15 and I used a couple of those throughout as well as the fussy cut uh, pieces Again, a little ticket that I've made with uh, a stamp and then one of the pieces from the kit, which I'm showing to you upside down. So it says, I love to see you bloom. Beautiful sentiments in this um, journal. It's just such a soft, romantic journal. I just really love doing it. And again, postcard from the kit and a decorated paper clip that I've used. So I have some pretty little... A ribbon I made a banner out of some paper there's some fiber and a little bit of lace so it looks good the, that particular paper clip looks great both back and front so decoupage onto a doily there I've used a piece of a doily to decorate the pocket and then a piece of um, daisy's ephemera with a couple of butterflies and that's the end if you've enjoyed watching this, I would love for you to leave a comment in the comment box below. And of course, if you have any questions about what I've done or how I've used it, leave those as well and I'll get back to you. Thank you.